Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys some little tips and tricks that you can use to apply glitter gel and get a full coverage, nice, even, clean application. So for this little demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Light Elegance Glitter Gel in the color Wipeout. I love purple and I love holographic and this glitter gel is just freaking amazing so so sparkly so i thought this would be a good one to kind of demonstrate for you guys and so first thing that you should always do when using a glitter gel you know really i have different glitter gels from different companies a lot of them that i have are from light elegance i honestly think light elegance is one of the best makers of glitter gel. These are hard gels, so they're not soak off. They also have the same glitters in a gel polish form called P+. So they have some of the same glitter gels that they have in the hard gel in a gel polish form, if you would prefer that. This video is mostly talking about the glitter gels in the pot, the hard gel form. So the first thing that we wanna do is give it a good, nice stir because sometimes the glitters can settle and if you put your brush into the pot immediately after opening it, um, you could get mostly just clear gel because it needs to be stirred up. So give it a good stir and like look how freaking amazing that looks in the camera. I just use like a metal spatula like this. Just make sure and scrape the sides. Make sure everything's all nice and stir it up there then what we need to do is find a color that kind of matches this glitter gel whatever glitter gel that you choose or your client chooses now i want to find a kind of corresponding color that we can put underneath of it because we want to create that full coverage look so it's going to be much easier to layer this over top of something to give us that look and i will just show you i'm going to dip my brush in here this is just honestly a cheap random brush like you don't have to have anything fancy um, i'm just going to show you like what it looks like if we don't layer it so i'm brushing it on you can tell that it's sparse in some areas and it's gonna be kind of hard to get a really nice, clean, like full coverage look, especially around the cuticle area when just applying it like this over top of a clear. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So I pulled three options that we could use to layer under this color. And one is a Light Elegance Buttercream, which is called Edgar Allen Purpo and it's a similar kind of shade of purple and has a shimmer in it. I think this one's a little bit more red toned and this one's a little bit more blue toned, but it would work pretty well. And the fact that this has a shimmer makes it even better because if we layer them, the shimmer is gonna make the glitter even more and more sparkly. So having something with a shimmer in it is even better if we can use that as a base. So this is the first option, the Edgar Allen Purpo Buttercream. Next, Beamy Beauty Box Metal Leaf Gel and Amethyst, which is getting to be a little bit more blue tone purple. And again, the metal leaf gels are ultra, ultra shimmery, sparkly. Sorry, this one kind of got away from itself out of the packaging, but these are really, really nice and sparkly. So again, they're gonna give us a nice sparkly base to layer it. And the third one that I chose is actually a gel polish. This is called Hey Lila from Magpie Beauty. And it's a purple with like really fine holographic shimmer in it. So this is a gel polish. So those are the three that I pulled just right off the bat that would work as base colors. I feel like any one of these would work well as a base color. You could also use just a regular solid colored purple, but if you have anything that has a shimmer in it, it's just gonna work even better to be the base color. I think I'm gonna go with the Light Elegance Buttercream. This one just matches the tone a little bit better of this glitter. And so I'm gonna show you guys on my thumbnail here. Sorry, I um, this nail hasn't been prepped for a couple weeks, so um, we're just working with what we got for now. But you wanna make sure that your base layer of gel is not too thick because Glitter will always add an extra layer of thickness to the nails, so you don't want to start off with a super thick 
base layer of hard gel or builder gel, whatever you're gonna be using because the glitter gel is just gonna add more bulk to the nail. So you want to start off with something thinner, especially this buttercream. The buttercreams go on super thin, so that's why this is gonna be a great option. So first I'm gonna go in and apply the buttercream. I love the buttercreams, they're super, super thin. Also a hard gel, but again, you could use a gel polish or something if that's just what you're working with. So I'm just going to put this over the entire nail. And what's great about this color, the buttercreams, they're so thin, I can get them really nice and close up to that cuticle area. When you're working with a glitter gel, you just aren't going to get a nice, clean line around that cuticle area just because glitter just doesn't do that it doesn't work that way so that's why I always layer because you can use that first coat of your initial kind of base layer to be the one that gets you really really nice and close so there we got it pretty close up nice and tight to the cuticle area and really nice and close up to the side walls so now we have a really good coverage and we have the product really close nice and clean around the cuticle area. So I'm gonna cure this before we go in with the glitter. All right, so we're gonna take our glitter now. We already gave it a pretty good stir. And I'm taking kind of like a bigger little dollop here because we're gonna float it on. If we brush it on, if we put a lot of pressure down on that brush and drag that brush, we're gonna actually gonna drag most of the glitter off of the nail. Getting a little bit more if I need to. Again, this is why I said you wanna start with something thin on the nail, nothing too thick, because this glitter is gonna add some thickness. And I'm just kind of using the brush to kind of float the glitters around. Now, oh my gosh, that is so holographic. Okay, now I'm gonna take just a little detailer brush, just tiny, tiny, and I'm going to start manipulating these glitters exactly where I want them. So I want them to come down to the sidewall area and go around the cuticle area. It's a lot easier to kind of, you can also use a dotting tool to do this as well. You can take a dotting tool and like, and kind of push glitters where you want them. And look how nice and sparkly that is. And it's hard to tell, but the glitter actually is not you know, creating this beautiful line around the cuticle area, that's your base layer. So the base layer is what creates this effect that makes it look like the glitter is like perfectly going around the side walls and the cuticle area. I'm actually going to flip this nail upside down a little bit because I did do a thicker layer of glitter. I don't want this glitter to settle on the side walls and create a thick looking nail. So I'm just gonna flip the nail upside down for a second so that the glitter can settle more in the middle of the nail versus on the side. So I'm pretty happy with that. And because we did a thicker kind of layer, look at that line of light. It's very smooth. So it's not really that bumpy at all. And so I'm gonna cure this. Okay, so we have this all cured. If I was doing a full set of glitter like this, I would do one nail at a time because since we're really like putting a good coat of glitter on so that it gets nice and full coverage and nice and smooth, I would do one nail at a time. Otherwise you could risk the glitter kind of pooling down into the sidewalls or the cuticle area. I think it looks pretty good and you notice that it's still very thin down to the cuticle area. You have a nice apex and this area is nice and thin so it's not going to cause lifting or too much like a bulkiness down in that cuticle area because we added that first layer. So if you didn't add that first layer for coverage you would have a little bit more sparse glitter It'd be harder to get this nice clean, clean cuticle area and you'd probably have to do at least two layers of the glitter but this is like full coverage so pretty so then all we have to do is top coat and for top coat and glitter this one is actually pretty smooth so i'm not too worried about it but i usually like a thicker top coat for covering glitter just in case there was any little pieces sticking up this looks pretty smooth and i don't 
I'm not worried about it, but um, my favorites are the Light Elegance Super Shiny Top Coat because it's a little bit thicker. I also just got this Top Gel High from Hay Nails. This is the Izemi brand, and this top coat is very thick. So if you have a very chunky glitter that you need to cover, this top coat is amazing. Um, this one is Soak Off. This one is Hard Gel, if that makes any difference to you. So I'm just gonna go in with the Light Elegance top coat because I can just tell this is like smooth enough and it doesn't really need that much help. So this top coat has a tacky layer, so I'm just gonna cleanse the top coat. Just gonna cleanse this down a little bit. One last thing I do just to refine it is I take my file and just refine the edge a little bit because if you have any glitter sticking up, it's going to be rough on that edge. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna put a little cuticle oil on, rub that in very well. All right, and look how gorgeous this glitter is. Super full coverage, super clean application, stunning. I use this tip every time I apply a glitter gel. I want it to be full coverage. I want it to look good around the cuticle area. So I always start with some sort of a base color first and it's so pretty so i love this glitter this is one of my favorite glitter gels hopefully they still make it i know sometimes they discontinue glitters but i will try to find it for you guys and link everything down in the description box so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you a couple tips and tricks on working with glitter gel and how to get a nice smooth finish like this and i hope you guys have a wonderful day don't forget to follow me on my social media and i will see you guys in my next video